Hello and welcome to Monza for the penultimate round of the 2016 International GT Open. Thomas Biaggi and Fabrizio Cristani lead the championship coming into their home rounds, but the BMWs were very quick at the Red Bull Ring. Sean Balfe and Phil Keane should never be discounted. There's always some great racing here at Monza, so let's have a look at the very best of the action. Monza, always one of the most popular events for the International GT Open and from pole position it was you and Hanke who led away in the early stages. Behind there was a great scrap between the Terra Martin Motorsport teammates Peter Schotthorst and Gustavo Jakman. They were soon joined by Vito Posticlioni in the Parley Racing Lamborghini. As ever, Monza always producing some fantastic dicing and the cars going wheel to wheel in the early stages but it did allow you and Hanke to break away the front field. The championship on the line, both the Teo Marti Motorsport BMWs had to get a good finish and ideally had to finish ahead of Cristani and Biaggi in the orange one Lazarus Lamborghini. Mid-race pit stops and Hanke came in to hand over to Sally Yuluk with a very handy advantage. The TF Sport team of course servicing the car impeccably. Jackman elbowed his way past Schotthorst. Post pit stops and Fabrizio Cristani absolutely flying in the Lamborghini. Moving first of all past Miguel Ramos and he was soon passed by the charging Com Ledegar with Phil Keane in hot pursuit. Late on Cristani got onto turns with Sally Ulick but it wasn't quite to be so it was a second victory of the season for Hanke and Ulick but a big step towards the championship for Cristani and Biaggi finishing in second. Another magnificent race with Com Ledegar and Alex West completing the podium. Next Ferrari racer Ivan Capelli doing the honours with the trophy presentations as Hanke and Yuluk celebrate in Monza. Once more Manuel de Costa and Miguel Sardinia claiming GTM honours. The start was good, the initial getaway, but then I didn't go down to first gear into turn one, so I struggled to stop, and then I got given a bit of a hit up the up the rear, which helped me go, and then from then on it was just try to get as big a gap as possible to hand over to Sal, and then just hope for the best at the end. Luckily, he drove really, really well, didn't make any mistakes when Cristani was right behind him, and yeah, it was brilliant. At some point, I, uh, to towards the middle of my scene, actually, I, was, I wasn't at the pace that I I was hoping for, so I was um, not, happy, not happy with myself in the car and I pr probably needed the Lamborghini behind me to, <laughs> to be able to pick myself up. And I'm happy that we managed to get the win at the end, so th th thankfully this guy had given me a good gap to manage, so it's all good. <laughs> Race two and just three encounters before the end of the season. Therefore, championship points were all important, which meant that the early stages were frenetic as ever as Fabrizio Cristani looked to make good his escape at the front of the field. And reigning champion Miguel Ramos was ruled out of the title fight with an early retirement. Also in trouble early on was Phil Keane picking up a puncture in the Balfe Motorsport McLaren. And race one winner Sally Yuluk had to retire in the early stages, pulling off en route to Ascari. That meant at certain points in the race, Cristani and Biaggi were the champions on the road, but of course, mid-race pit stops would shuffle up the order somewhat. Meanwhile, Andrea Caldarelli would be expected to put on a fine performance in the SF Racing Ferrari. As ever, there was some brilliant racing as we came out of the pit stops, with Alex Moisev leading the charge from Alex West in the Garage 59 McLaren. The Swedish driver, though, made a superb move to move clear of the Ferrari. Gustavo Jakman then chased through with Thomas Biaggi just behind him. Sean Bauer for only a lap down, out of position, joined the fray as late on there was contact between Biaggi and Jakman. It promoted the Italian as West and Ledegar came through to score their maiden victory in the International GT Open. Second place went to Biaggi and Cristani, giving them a very handy championship lead heading towards Barcelona. And great dicing behind us, Posticlioni just edged out Moisev on the line. All smiles on the top step of the Monza Rostrum. A 
I'm very happy. Uh, Com did a great job. And I guess a lot of other people have penalties. We had a 10-second ten penalty, which didn't help us, but um, it was good. It was a really good, good race. I finally feel like I started to keep get, get a proper performance and out of the car, and it's really good to finally make a win. Come, it looks like he's uh, learning faster. Uh, it's what I, I would say. Uh, to be honest, I'm more proud uh, today as a coach than as a driver because he just did a mega job. We did a good stint in the beginning, but he's just... Uh, finish it was really nice from his side. So with just two races remaining, Stani and Biaggi have got the whip hand in the GT Open standings. It's still mathematically possible for Jakman and Monnier to take it away from them Barcelona. Balfe and Keane just about in the mix. It's going to be an intriguing final event of the year.